Greeting to everyone, my name is Ong. My final year project is Heart Disease Analysis and Prediction. I developed this project under the guidance of Dr. Sukuma. This project is regarding to machine learning project. The motivation to develop this project is the heart disease that has increased year by year. This project included data analyzation, which is analyzing the data. Data visualization, which is presenting the result in graph form. Data accuracy assessment is to evaluate the accuracy score of the data set by using machine learning algorithm. The last feature is applying prediction algorithm to, to predict the risk of heart disease. So according to WHO report in 2018, there are 63,000 heart disease death cases in Malaysia. By comparing to 2017, it was increased by 21%. Besides, most of the citizens lack of self-awareness toward heart disease and lack of knowledge about factors that cause heart disease. So for the system objective, the, the first one is the project will analyze the data, heart disease and data set and present the result in the graph form. The second is there are two machine learning algorithms like LR, logistic regression, and DTC, decision tree classifier, will be used to analyze the accuracy of the data set. For the last is the heart disease rate prediction. User, this project will predict the risk of heart disease for the user in percentage form and will list out what are the possible diseases for the user. So this, this is a module diagram for this project. So you can see the first module is regarding to data analyzation and visualization. The second module is regarding to data accuracy assessment. The third module is outcome prediction. So this is the architecture diagram for this project. So you can see the front end is regarding to HTML and CSS. The back end is more about the Python. So so the Python flask will be used to transfer the to transfer the data they are in their input from the user to the back end and the back end will return it back to the front end by using Python Flask. The first module is regarding to data analyzation and data visualization. There are three analyses for this module. There are overall analysis, male analysis and female analysis. For the for the inner analysis there are several attributes they are going to analyze. They are gender, chest pain type, fasting blood sugar blood pressure, cholesterol, number of color, colored result by philosophy, and edge. So this is the overall analysis of this project. The uniqueness of this project is the graph is building for the SVG graph. It is a scalar vector graph. So you can see as, as you're trying to minimize it, the pixels are still clear. There won't be like the blur issue happen. So, so the graph is also appear like the UI when you're trying to hide something like the blue bar or, or you want to present a red bar you should be able to do that just like this so you can see for, from this data set you can you can see that they are 40 they are 54 percent red to get a heart disease for the gender as you can see women is 75 percent while the men is 45 and you can conclude that women has a higher heart disease rate compared to men so for the chest pain type, as we can see, there are, there are two there are two significant symptoms and high potential to heart disease. They are typical typical angina and the atypical angina. The rate for typical angina is seventy three percent, while the rate for a typical is eighty two percent. For the plus, uh, for the fasting blood sugar. We can we can we can we can see that the the description showing they are above 126 is signal diabetes. As we can see, both for both normal and and high fasting blood sugar, there are still hidden potential to heart disease. For the blood pressure, the same thing. For the both normal and high level is uh they are still have potential level to heart disease. For the cholesterol, they are still the same. Both normal and high level, they are still hidden potential toward heart disease. For the slot or peak exercise, we can see that 
the down sloping is higher. You can see that 75 from 75%, which means this is a significant significant signal or high potential toward heart disease. While the flat sloping is mentioned about this is a typical heart rate, while the up sloping is a sharply heart rate during exercise, but it's still uncommon. For for the number of me major major vessel colored by philosophy, is it means the color vessel is is the blood that they can passing through. The more the the more the blood movement, the better. You can see that the yellow color vessel can be considered as significant signal and high potential because it's it's a higher rate, like seventy four percent. So this this is a this is an edge tabulation result in the graph form. Second module is regarding to the data accuracy assessment. So there are two machine learning algorithms. The first is LL, the second one is DTC. So there are two results we are getting for each algorithm. The first is train result, the second is test result. For the inner, we are using precision score, recall score, F1 score, metric, and accuracy score. So when the accuracy rate uh, for the data set is above 75 percent we can consider the data the data set is clean and it, it should be accurate for the prediction purpose this is a uh, machine learning algorithm patch so the, we are looking so looking for the logistic regression we can see that the trend result for the accuracy score is about 84 it's, uh, it's uh, almost 85 percent for the test result is almost 84 percent so it should it should be correct and it, it, it was qualified to use for the uh, prediction purpose for the decision tree, as you can see, it's about 100% for the trend result, 100% of the test result. So we can conclude that both both algorithms are qualified to, uh, to build a model for the prediction purpose in the last module. The last, the last module, which is the third module, is regarding to the heart disease re re risk prediction. So in this module, so we are so the user are required enter the, the edge, gender, chest pain type, fasting glucose level, cholesterol, blood pressure, smoking status, and the ML model. So when the user click submit, the, so uh, the screen will show the risk score, risk level, and possible disease. So when the disease fall in 0 until 10, they, they should be considered low risk. When fallen, fallen in 10 to 15, they consider moderate. When above 15, they consider high risk. So this is a heart disease prediction patch. So as you can see, users are required to enter the edge, assuming the user is uh, above edge for, uh, 40, 47. And it was a female gender. And the chest pain type is something like maybe typical. And the diabetes maybe no and and the cholesterol level maybe yes and the blood pressure maybe yes current smoking maybe yes and first we are selecting the logistic regression for the first testing so let's say I click submit so as you can see you can see that there are 12 percent which is moderate risk so the below will show the possible disease just like just now if the user has a chest pain it will show up it will show up any possible disease they are regarding the chest pain and some prevention to prevent this to prevent the chest pain like the exercise regularly and take, taking medical medication advice from doctor so they are also showing the other like high cholesterol when and the high blood pressure you can, you can see and the smoking also uh, showing the be it will be showing the below. So now we are trying to for the second machine learning model, which is the DTC. So let's say let's say the same thing. The user is forty seven the same gender female. For the chest pain is typ typical. For the diabetes is yes yeah, is no. For the cholesterol is yes. Blood pressure also yes. For the for the past smoking or smoking current smoking is yes so let's not, let's say we're trying for the decision tree and we click submit as you can see 
when we, we are using Dijon 3, the rate will be higher, it's 20, which is above 15, and, be, and it, should, it should be considered high risk. So the same thing, the below, we're, we're showing out the possible disease also for, for the heart disease. Now, okay, now the same user wanted to test another another result, and he just simply click retest. And he select and input another data, something like this. 70 at 70 gender at male chest pain no specific diabetes yes total cholesterol yes blood pressure high blood pressure no current smoking no and the uh, user select LR LR model let's say click submit you can see eighty percent high risk and the possible disease for diabetes and in prevention possible disease for heart kite cholesterol and prevention Yes, so this is the final result. So for the impact and benefit from this from this project, so this project should be able to provide what kind of attribute that that affect the heart disease. Like they were showing up what kind of what kind of significant symptom and what kind of attribute which is higher potential toward heart disease. So for for the second one, this project should be able to predict the risk of heart disease in certain form. And the possible, what kind of possible disease from this project? Yeah, thanks.